Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. Tech goes by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in here to Indiana Tech Warriors D1 Hockey, brought to you by Summit City Sports. We are at the Parkview Sport One Ice House for tonight's D1 matchup against the Western Michigan University Stallions. I am your color commentator as always, Brandon Poor. We got Connor Hendrickson on camera and joining me, Bryce Ryder, your usual play-by-play -play for the Warrior men's D1 games. Welcome, everybody. So this is the first time we've seen Western Michigan here at the Ice House since the uh, 1920 series. And that was a split by scores of seven to one and two to one. So this Warriors split that series in 2019-2020 with the Stallions and our four and five all time against Western Michigan. Yeah, and it does sound like you said 1920. It feels that long ago since we played the I-69 Cup. And last year, I believe we had a snowstorm, um, or it was actually the year before 20. 2021 so that it didn't happen and then of course COVID just put everything out of whack so they're ready for this matchup here in, at the Sport One Ice House. Now coming into tonight's matchup Western Michigan is not a very strong road team just 3-12 and 12 on the season right now when playing a road game so that's going to be something the Warriors are probably going to convert on is they're not a very good road team. Yeah and they they fell last night, Western Michigan did, so they're going to see if they can do something different and pick up one of their 
pick up a fourth win on the road after they had a, the shutout loss last night. And so we'll see how Tech comes out. And if they just think that this is going to be an easy one, maybe Western Michigan will show something different here. And that's the key is the Stallions are currently on a four-game losing streak. Their last win came against Eastern Michigan 6-3 to on November the 20th. So you're looking at almost one and a half months without winning a game. Yeah, and a few years ago, uh, Tech was on fire. They didn't win, lose a game, maybe one in the, in the first half of the season, and they came out after the, after the break, and they just struggled. And they had so many wins that they still kept them, you know, in a good ranking, but, boy, they struggled. And, and you know, each year, as, as we come back, I mean, obviously they won well last night, but you never know. The Western Michigan can figure this out and put together something and start picking up wins. And if they don't, you know, necessarily come away with a win tonight on the I-69 Cup, then they may start to strengthen their team and, you know, they may uh, progress as the season goes for them. Well, the most recent rankings announced on the 12th of December, Indiana Tech has risen to the eighth spot in the ACHA and are one of three teams in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference to be ranked in the ACHA national rankings, sharing that honor with UMD or University of Michigan Dearborn, who they will see next weekend here at the Ice House and one up there and Aquinas. Yeah, so that's going to be something to see. So the, the Michigan teams are, uh, well, with University of Michigan, Dearborn coming in. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here tonight and see if Western Michigan can play as well. That's a tough matchup there. Um, but we've got, like, uh, you got Blake Sewerston that's going to come in tonight. We see with 15 assists. He may do something tonight. Um, They've got some players out there that uh, can do something for this effort. They're going to try everything not get the SO. I, I said it. <laughs> so, but it happened last night. That's what I'm uh, drawing on. But Well, the Zambonis are off the ice. We wait for the team's arrival. We'll take a quick break here as you are watching Indiana Tech men's D1 hockey here on the Warriors Broadcast Network brought to you by Summit City Sports. Tech goes by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. What's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Welcome back to the Parkview Sport One Ice House. The teams have taken to the ice, so we're tuning it down to the PA for the opening rosters, opening lineups, and the anthem. And 
Uh, it's really starting out for you, Ward. Hey, the NXF Warriors. Starting out for the NXF Warriors. Starting out for the NXF from Utrecht, Ohio, number 20, Bobby Reason. At center, a freshman from White Lake Region, number 17, Brendan Plummer. At right hand, a freshman from Maple Ridge, British Columbia, number 44, Colton Nickerford. At left hand, a senior from Fort Wayne, number 24, Cole Barney. At right hand, a senior from McCall, Michigan, number 4, Alex Potter. And go for the winner of the sophomore from Silver Park, Alberta, number 29, Brandon Buck. Assisted by DJ Fisher and Jordan Reed, and the first of the Warriors, this pressure is tomorrow. At this time, we're going to be driving from the cast to the train. for participating in the playing of the National Anthem. And we want to thank all of those who have served and are serving in the protection of this great country to where we can enjoy sporting events like the ones we're about to see. And what are we about to see? The Indiana Tech Warriors hosting the Western Michigan University Stallions in a battle of the I-69 Cup. And game one was last night. And Indiana Tech came on with a shutout win, 6-0. to zero. And let's see... For the road team, let's see what the Stallions are going to bring to this matchup tonight to try to keep this cup split, and we'll see how well they do here at the fort. Yeah, we got more hockey action here in the Summit City. Uh, the four wing space from the junior team currently in the, uh, I think it's the Boston Showcase, and the four wing comments of the ECHL currently in action against the Toledo Walleyes. So, Fort Wayne's seen a lot of hockey action here this evening. Yes, they have. We're about to see some action here as the puck's about to be dropped here in the fort. It's 32 degrees. Going to get up to 37 tonight, but the action here is going to be hot as the temperature drops tomorrow into the teens. But we're going to see how well we can play here. They heat it up here. Faceoff's going to be picked up by the Warriors. Barney with a quickie picks up the puck from face and takes a shot. And we'll see action starting off. Stick side. I believe they elect stick, and they do. Stick side of Thayer in the Stallions defensive zone. Plummer on the face, still working the puck sits, but it's gonna be picked up and drawn back into the hands of Adams, feeds it up. Now here they come up, ice is gonna be, Tenney trying to feed it in. Barney comes back, he picks up behind goal. He's hanging out, sees a break go way up ice, Nikifor goes up, the puck is sauced and he's gonna get back in time. He picks up, he's in the quarterback spot, see where he goes. He draws back into the corner, feeds it up front over to D, takes a shot, a rebound wide open, nobody there. Still working on goal line, it's gonna be picked up by the Stallions, Stallions with the pass, and here they go, they pick up the pass over to Chaney, and they go for a change, staying out, Plummer with an elf, get fed from Barney, change is coming. Now oh, swing and miss, now here we go. Krasny with the puck going along the gauntlet, picks up, gets around, hangs out in the corner, now turns. He's looking, he loses it momentarily. Well, he gets it back, Bennett with it now. Now it's back, still battling. It's gonna be picked up, Krasny throws it back around, but it's gonna be turned over. The puck's gonna be tipped up and finishing out the change as Chaney goes in. Now, here's Chabot with the puck now. He retreats, looking. Should be the full change now, here we go. Taking a look, taking a shot, out it comes! Oh, can't pick up a Chabot. 
And it's going to be kept in. Oh, caught on the shin pads there. Campbell trying to pick up the puck as he was tied up. Stick coming in, taking a look. He's trying to work on the hands of Sewardson. Now it comes across, going to be kept in. Oh, and a hit to battle the 15s. Hayward gets knocked down as he gets put down by Campbell. Now coming in, feeding all over. Krasny picks up from Bennett, goes into the corner, looking far over, taking a look low with a chop, and it's held on. And an attempt there. Strong opportunity there for the Warriors. They come down three on one, and unfortunately the pass from Bennett is well ahead of the mark of Krasny and went to the corner. They tried to get it situated with the pass out to the point for low, but it's a strong save there by the Western Michigan goaltender. T.J. Dugan taking the face off, kept in low, taking a look. Puts a shot across the bow there. Carruthers got to come in, but trying to hang on to it. Oh, and it's going to be picked up and beat. Carruthers coming back strong now, coming into the zone. Stallions looking, trying to work into the corner. Carruthers ties off. Dugan now trying to work it. He gets tied up there. For Draymond, Draymond now in the action again. Now kept in. Oh, no, it wasn't kept in. Trying to keep it on with the hands of Parks. Now it's coming all the way back for a no ice. Coming back. Now still working. Tied up along the boards in the corner. Low picks up the puck into the neutral. Feeds it on the delayed off. <laughs> and it's a full change for the, the Warriors. The Stallions now see a one-man change. Picked up, and now it's back into the stallion zone working. Oh, Fado there almost turned it over to force to kept in the zone. Barney will pick up in the glove, and he plays it on the stick, throws it back into the zone for an ice, and no ice. They waved it off. Yeah, he played it way, just way deep. Oh, up front, trying to throw it back around. On the stallions, miscued on the effort there of Hayward. Yeah, he tried to reverse it off the wall. It took a funny bounce there in the corner, rolled right to the side of the net. Yeah, Thayer kept an eye on it. He shut it down quick. Face off in the near side dot. One by the Warriors. Picked up Barney. He feeds it back up. Taking a look. Goes back to point. Potter with it now. Potter takes a wrister. It's off the boards. Picked up. Oh, and it's out of the reach. Ooh, and it's going to be kept in. As Joffrey came back with Barney, now an ice coming up against the Stallions for a no change. And the Warriors elect a full line change. Now they'll bring the faceoff back down inside of the Western Michigan zone. With 16.29 left here in the first period. Yeah, we've seen all the faceoff stick side. Haven't seen one glove side yet, so let's see what happens eventually. Trying to skate through it. It's Plummer's effort there. It's going to be picked up Stadens, and they're coming out with a head of steam. In and off the stick of Tenney. Now it's going to be turned over. Over to Friesen. Friesen with an out. He's up. Now he gives it over to Plummer. Plummer taking a shot. It's off the blocker. It's playable. It was sailing wide. Now it's still working along the boards. Plummer pushes it around. Take a fork with it now. He's looking up front. See where he goes. He may come back to Campbell, and he does. Campbell with it. May go far. Ah, he gets it out. Ah, he bounced. Yeah. He's trying to hands it to keep it in. So that gives them a much needed change for the Stallions. Now face off just outside of the attacking zone for the Warriors. So Plummer versus Desmond is going to be picked up by the Stallions as they look to clear it up. I see where they go. All broken off. Reason picks it up, but it's going to be a delayed off. Throws it in off the boards, and he goes in for the change. I think Plummer got tied up there. He went down. Here come the Stallions again. Looking to use that far. Far side stretch, throws it back into the in the corner there as Olinger. Make a fork, relieves stick, and he picks up the puck now. I thought he was going to get double team. Now delayed off. He picks up. Here we go. Plummer on the change. He throws it in on his change. Thrown up front, Bennett. Chabot. Chabot back to Bennett. Bennett has some room here. Goes to Carruthers. Carruthers with it. He takes a shot, hits somebody in the shin pads, I think. He picks it up into neutral, and he's going to carry it in. Here goes Carruthers now. He's working, gets splits the defense, bounces off, and that throws a shoulder in there. Krasny comes up, ties his guy up. Let's see. Puck dies up on the board. Chabot with an out playing in the left defensive spot. Bennett with an out. 
Then it feeds over to Chabot. He bounces in out of the stick, or uh, actually over to Krasnick. Chabot picks up. Now feeds back to Crothers. Crothers doesn't, hasn't used low yet. Throws it up off the boards. Now picked up Bennett. Throws it back around. Now Krasny with it. He may. Oh, he's going to feed it over to Chabot. Chabot probably. Oh, well, Chabot hangs on. Takes a. Oh, wow. It's a shot across the. See, Stein's going on a change. Warriors stay out. One pinch going in. That being of Stokes. And Carruthers is going to think better of it again. He throws it in. He's going on a change as, as well as Bennett and Chabot. Puck hasn't crossed goal line yet. Barney almost picked it up. Now picked up by Ali there. Now it's, oh, Arnold can't pick it up. Now it's get every chance in the world for Stokes. He dumps it in on a change. Funk leaves it back. Gets picked up by Potter over to Barney. Barney throws it up to Ali. It gets off the shoulder of Hayward and it stays in the zone. Now the Warriors stretching it out to Ali. He picks up a nice pass and he's, oh, and he goes wide. He had a little bit of room. He comes up and picks up the puck as there was a tie up. Well, no, it's going to be now into the feet. Oh, you can't hang on to the throw behind Cheney. And a penalty coming as Barney is saying hi. Now Barney goes down as he's shoved around there and he's knocked down by Draymond. With the original penalties against the Warriors, let's see if there's any more uh, added to the list there. Give you some writer's cramp early on. <laughs> it looks like they are putting in Draymond. So Potter going in. He's got a rough. Barnes. Rough on Western Michigan. It should be a cross check on Potter. So offsetting penalties here, I believe. They do show two minutes up on the board. So up there they go on both sides. Faceoff's going to be picked up by the Stallions, but Fortin tying up as the puck gets all the way back to the glove of Thayer to shut it down. Faceoff will be probably stick side again. That is the seventh shot on goal here for the Warriors. Western Michigan has yet to get a shot on goal, but they have one attempt. All right, battle on the faceoff. Battle's going to be picked up by Stowns, but they couldn't clear it out. Low on the reach, keeps it in the zone as he battles up against the effort of Sewardson. Low with it again. Throws it back around. He gets around for it and goes back. Fado picks it up in the corner, see if he can get a hold of it. And now it's going to be picked up by Loring. And can Lowe get there in time? Nope. And the pass goes. Oh, it's broken up. Fortin shuts down the effort of Sewardson's attempted reception there. Puck's taken away. Still working on it. Can he hang on to it? Fortin. Fada there. Now the puck's thrown up right in front of the paint. Now it's going to be picked up and carried around by Loring. Loring's coming up with a head of steam. Up ice. He's got options. But he's going to go in himself. Loring gets it... Uh, Touched by, oh, there we go. Picked up, here we go, coming up ice. Carruthers now, it's a battle of the fives. It's five versus five, and he's hanging on to it. And can he get the shot off? And he does off the pads. And it's a save there. Another penalty. Penalty coming up against the Stallions on a hook. Believe that will be that effort of Sewardson versus Carruthers there. Let's see who gets the call. Should be. Blake Sewardson, let's see, and it is. First power play of the game for the Warriors. Let's see how they do. Four on three power play, don't see this very often. We got 53 seconds in the coincidental minors. And facing off on the classic stick side, Bennett for Indiana Tech. He battles and ties up the faceoff circle. Easy pick up for Lowe, Lowe with it. Over to Chabot. Chabot back to low. Low now taking a look. He goes in. He's going to hang on. Switches with Barney. Drops back. Barney now in the quarterback position. He's hanging on. He was looking at low, but he's got some room. He goes up, takes a shot, and he gets it. Just gets around. Low will pick it up as he wraps around. Low with it now. Low taking it. Feeds it over to Barney. Barney switches sides. Drops it back to Chabot. Chabot in the right wing or the right D spot. He's going around the world. We've seen this many a times. Here he comes. Chabot with it now. He gets one player down. Chabot now shortening the circle now. Barney over to Lowe. Lowe's all the way in. Oh, it goes. Oh, what an attempt. Oh. I think he got in the feet of Chabot and an easy stop for, for Thayer to shut down. 
Take a look at that one again. You see Chabot who works it around, drops it right here to Barney. Barney over to low. Great backdoor mm. open net. Yeah. All the net in the world. Four by six wide open. <laughs> and he tips it right into the goaltender. Yeah, that was a double door backdoor. That was wide open. And now we're going to see the first face off blocker so glove side against the Stallions. Still working on a power play for a buck 19. Still working. And now it's going to be picked up. Barney's going to reach in and grab it. There he is. Feeds over to Lowe. Lowe taking a look back to Barney. Barney now with the puck. Here comes Barney. He takes a shot into the mess, and it's picked up by, oh, shoved in, and it is loose. Now it's going to be tried. It almost fed out. Plummer there loses it, but gives it up to low. Can't find it. It was on his back. Now it's going to be sauced out into the neutral zone. Picked up Barney. No changes for either team yet. Here comes Barney. He throws it all the way up to Arnoldson and out of the stick. Picked up and tried to toss it out with Hayward. Now it's a race as it's a back into the corner as Stoner goes back up against Low. Low puts on the brakes, changes direction, almost lost it in the skates of Plummer. And now Potter with it. Low goes in. Potter's going to carry this. He's got Ali up. He throws it over to Carruthers. Carruthers with it now. Here he goes. Plummer splits through. He tries to give it over. He does get it to Plummer, but Plummer's behind the goal line. Now picked up Ali, hands in it. He's working. He's looking up front. He's still hanging on to it. Throws it over. Now it's going to be picked up by Potter. Potter now with it. Throws it over to Arnold. Arnold gets a shot, but it's off the shin pads. It's going to be picked up by the Stones. But the wingers work hard. Dislodge the puck, and it worked. Potter picks it up, dumps it back into the corner. Now we're back to even strength, and everything's cleared out. The chase coming out of the box was guarded well by Carruthers as he stayed back to go up against the clearing of Sewardson's uh, penalty. Could have had a break. Good heads up. Now here's the Stallions with it in their zone, looking back and forth it goes. It's in the hands of Loring. Loring looking. He stretches it out, but it's intercepted by Carruthers. He can't get through as he collides there with Olinger, gives the puck back to the Stallions as they look to come back out. Loring with it again, trying to feed it out. Up, oh, it's into the hands of Olinger. Here comes Olinger. He's got a pass, but he takes a shot. Oh, comes off the boards. It's picked up, oh, almost by Hayward. Now a good check. Hayward picks up, feeds up the point. Point taking a look and a block shot there by Friesen. And he's going to pick up the puck now off the boards. Now the puck goes uh, off sides. Now it's going to be Brothers feeds it soft. He's got to be freezing. Comes back and picks it up. Throws it up. And now it's a game back and forth. Volley puck. Krasny tried to get a piece of it. Campbell has it now. And here we go. Now, oh, can't hang on. Gibson working off the boards right in front of the scoring circle. Nick a fork there. But this guy now has the puck. He throws it in. And now it's Campbell picking it up as the attempt there of Desmond. Now dumped into the zone by Stokes. Now travel out. Gibson, or uh, here we go. Gibson working. Can he get it through? It can't get it through on the feet. It's going to be picked up Stiles, but they can't see it. Fought of tying his guy up, so he doesn't get a hold of it. Backhands it around. Now it's going to be picked up by Cotre. Now it's thrown back around, so now it's going to be into the hands of Draymond. And it's into the hands now of Stokes as he's working, and he's double teamed. Now it's going to be an easy pickup. Cotre. Cotre's looking up the point, but he's going to try to feed. Oh, it's giving. Oh, shot off! Now it's going to be still. Stallions in charge. Almost looks like a power play shot and a save off the pads of Funk. Now Nick Fork with it. Now here he comes. He's got Joffrey next. He's going on a change. It's put in on the netminder Thayer and shut down as Joffrey got near the goaltender to get the good change for the Warriors. Complete. Warriors being credited 13 shot attempts right now, eight on goal. Western Michigan, three shot attempts. They finally registered the first on the goaltender, Funky. Wow. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> and a good little flipper save there. Worried that he wasn't woke up because he hadn't seen anything. He's seen good spectation as we are. All right, so working in the corner. And here we go. Captain Barney keeps it, throws it around. Gets over the stick of Arnold. Ali working. Oh, up front, in and out of the stick of Arnold. Picked up by Barney. Feeds over to Potter. Potter throws it in the mix, and he gets a goal from point. So an even strength goal. Alex Potter, the defenseman, picks up from Barney, and I think he might have picked that up from Ali. Yeah, part of here with a wrist shot from the point. Not sure if it was redirected or a great screen out in front, but it's through the five hole of the goaltender Thayer. 
and the Warriors on the board first. Yeah, and it was, uh, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> it was silent when he made that. Oh, uh, Carruthers missteps. He was looking up ice, and he's working to get the puck back as it was taken away by Desmond. Desmond still had, there, still, oh, can't hang on to the line, and here we go. Krasny on the run. Krasny taking a look, takes a shot, and it goes behind. Around it goes. It's going to be kept in low. Low just feeding it in. Then he picked up Chabot, and a, another stop as he picked up and fired early on Thayer, and Thayer shut down the efforts there. Faceoff's going to be on the blocker side. Picked up Crothers early over to Low. Low with it. Low looking. He's taking it back in the corner. Krasny picks up. Krasny comes around. Back to Crothers. Crothers feeds over to Chabot. Chabot sees Bennett back door. Try, feeds it soft, but Bennett came out of the spot. Low on the keep as they tried to get rid of it and tried another one. Low fed that one softy, and Chabot tried to set screen. Krasny puts body on, gets the, and he's working on the puck, and it's picked up Steins, and they get it out. Bennett comes back, picks up. And here he comes. Bennett carrying in. Still hanging on, working in the corner. Double team, puck's taken away. And it's thrown up ice for an icing against the Stallions. Now it's another face off inside of the Western Michigan zone. And well, it looks like we're gonna go to our favorite spot, stick side. Yeah. So Plummer on the faceoff, and it's going to be picked up by the Stallions as they come around the behind goal line. Trying to get it out, it's into the neutral. Now it's going to be picked up by Stokes. Stokes with it now. Stokes has some help, but there's Campbell to break up. Gibson comes back. And it is now picked up by Nickafork. He's got Friesen and Plummer for options. Takes a look. Fires it now. It's Plummer with it. Plummer, Plummer hanging on. Sees it. Oh, can't get it to Nick of Four. It's going to be Gibson on the attempt. In and out of the glove. Now working into the corner. Plummer trying to tie up his guy, and that's the effort of Hayward. Nick of Four keeps it in. Plummer's got to chase it out. And will he get met? It's a battle of the 17s. Picked up by Friesen now. And here we go. Back it comes. Picked up Stallions, and they work it out. Good Apparently hit. On that one. Now, and here comes a penalty up against the Warriors. Shot goes wide. Extra man's out, goaltender's on the bench, but the Warriors will pick up and stop the action here on a check from behind against Nicky Forrick. Well, in high school, that's usually a two and automatic 10, but here it's just two minutes. It's a walk in the park at this level. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to see it like wicked, like a check from behind into the boards. That's where it gets super dangerous. Now picked up Stans, win the face off. Block Good shot, block. and then Krasny from behind. <laughs> That's not the spot I'd want to be. Picked up and cleared out. It can't be held in by Peters. He's skating out to pick up as he's getting the help of Olinger. Fata on the cheat. He's coming up, trying to force it. And here they come up the ice. Now it's going to be carried in by the effort of Desmond. Desmond takes a shot. Out it comes. In and out of the gloves. It went up high. Nonetheless, oh, can't hang on to it. it was Barney. Barney now has it. Oh, down he goes, and it's Potter working. Todd Potter goes down. Barney with it now. He's looking to clear, and he finally finds the spot to do it. He clears it up into the corner. Peters comes back to pick up, and he throws down the ice early as the Warriors change, and it's picked up and dumped in by Olinger. Now low, low with it. Low does the same thing. Oh, and he just nails the shin pad or, or the knee of Cheney with the puck picked up by Carruthers. Carruthers over to Low, low with it. He throws it up to Ali. Ali's got some momentum here, and he's got some help with Arnold. Ali's coming around. He's hanging on to it, feeds it to Low. Low draws it back into the neutral, back into the Defensive zone, the puck is now thrown up. Oh, and it picked up by Arnold. Arnold with it now. He's going to dance through. Here he comes, Arnold with it. He has some help. Let's see if he can make something going. No, he's going to have to get back as Ali puts body on low on the reach. Intercepts the puck from Stoner. 
Now it's a melee. Ali with it now. Here comes Ali with a shot and held on. 24 seconds remaining on the penalty kill and a shot from the Warriors. Yeah, Warriors doing a good job right now on the penalty kill. Either they clear the zone and they've been leading a rush into the Western Michigan zone. They haven't been able to get much going here on this power play. As you mentioned, 24 seconds left and we have 443 left here in the first and a faceoff stick side in the Western Michigan zone. Plummer on the face, going to be picked up by the Stallions. They've been winning a lot of the faceoffs in their defensive zone. And here they come now. Cotre with it. He gets checked off by Campbell. And now the puck's into the neutral and goes past the glove of Loring as he tried to hang on. So Thayer holds it for him on goal line. Here they go. Throwing it up ice. Oh, couldn't hang on. The pass was thrown behind with the stick of Draymond, and he had to kick it. Thayer with it now. Now it ends up back. End of the effort there. Loring. Now here we go. Friesen gets it and it's out into the neutral or at even strength. Gibson with it now. Feeds over to Campbell. Campbell with it. He goes across Nick and Fork and it's broken up momentarily. And by the effort of Hayward. So they say uh, Tech goes off sides. We'll try this with some fresh legs by both sides. Seems like a very fast paced period. 3.58 left here. It feels like we just kind of started. Yeah. Might have been about 25 minutes since the official buck drop. Yeah, we've had some penalties and a goal, but yeah, it's been uh, pretty much back and forth. I, obviously a lot of shots here by the Warriors early on, but only keeping it to a one goal differential is probably good for the Stallions at this point. Puck shut down by Funk as uh, the battle of the 24s, and yeah, they're battling Bart, yeah. right now. Barney's not the guy to do that to. Yeah, so Barney getting in some uh, shoving there as uh, Funk covers the puck, but Jake Olinger uh, was talking a little bit to him. And they're both still on the ice, so it may not end here with 3.50 remaining here in the first. Yeah, we've seen Barney go up against people almost twice oh, as high. Oh, front. Well picked up. Barney picks up from the shot there. Barney's double team leaves room for Bennett. Bennett picks up the puck's airborne, and he's working to hang on to it, working. And now it's going to be picked up. Krasny can't get a hold of his guy, of Olinger. But here comes Barney. Barney's waiting for his favorite 24. But now the puck is kept in. And they say offsides. I think so. Hmm. All right. So we're going to get fresh legs on both, both sides here. Face off near side, face off that. 327 remaining in the first. Uh, looks like the again. officials are talking about something with the head coach. And we'll try this again. TJ Dugan taking the face off. Now that's when he picked up Potter. Potter feeding over to Dugan. Dugan goes up to Ali. Ali carrying it, trying to get around. Ali goes all the way in. Shot and a save by Thayer. Just as I mentioned something about the speed, it all slows down. Yes, we're still in the three-minute mark. <laughs> We're going to stretch out this first period action here. Ali working in the corner. He throws it back up to Dugan. It's going to be kept in by Potter on the backhand. Potter quick, goes wide, keeps it in, throws it in the corner. Dugan back to Barney. Barney just gets rid of his guy. Another penalty. And Barney gets a high. Let's see, he may get an elbow on this. Yep. Yep, Barney gets the elbow as he uh, put the body on Cheney there. Chaney still talking about it to somebody. So, Mr. Michigan will have a power play for a good majority of the rest of the period. Two minutes and 58 seconds left here in the first, and they get a two-minute minor. So we finally to work with finally passed the three-minute mark. It just seemed like that three minutes lasted eight. All right, so now we are in the defensive zone. The puck's picked up. Peters is still working. He goes against Fado. Peters hanging on. It's back to him. Now, we're going over, taking a look. And they oh, score nice right shot. over the pad is the Blake Sewardson. He picks up that pass, takes a shot, and it just goes over the right pad. So it's a power play goal, so they tie it up here. 
This is something they didn't do last night, so they're feeling pretty good now. We have a tied game with 2.46 remaining here in the first. That was a great shot. Screen goaltender just over the pad, just under the blocker. That nice little sweet spot that shooters try to go for when they're not trying to pick the corner. So Sewardson leading for in, the, in the team with assists now comes out with a goal. Shut down as the puck gets into the vicinity of Thayer. And we'll be facing off the famous stick side here in a sec with oh. 240. Looks like Peter is credited with the lone assist on that one. Oh. Bennett on the faceoff, easy pickings for Campbell to pick up, throws it back into the corner. Tied up off the board. Now picked up, Stodd's working, Krasny tries to tie it up. He dislodges the puck, and nobody saw it, pucks into the neutral. Gibson was trying to hang on to it, here comes a far side pass maybe. A shot and a save, they're trying to beat up the effort of Funk, he gets two good Saves there, picked up by Bennett. Bennett feeds Krasny. Krasny looking for the pass, drops back to Chabot. Chabot hanging on. Chabot back to Krasny in the corner. Krasny looking, he throws it back to Chabot. Chabot's got time to pick it back up. It gets through. Potter, Barney. Barney gets it off the boards. He's hanging on. He takes a shot. It's high, drawn out of the air on the glove of Thayer. Well. Oh. Right back into the Western Michigan zone we go. Warriors returning the pressure now as we are getting into the latter parts of the period. Under two minutes to play here. Another faceoff inside the Warriors offensive zone. Battle's going to be picked up. And a shot and a goal picked up by T.J. Dugan. He gets the goal for the Warriors. Same, Just about the same way Funk got scored on. Yeah, this is a good job right off the face off. The sediment ties up, and Dugan just comes right in just over the pad and under the glove this time, just pretty much the other side. And the Warriors regain the one goal lead. Now here we are, back to the one goal lead, as you mentioned. Huck face off center ice, Ali gives it up. Oh, and. Dugan tries to skate underneath to pick up the puck. He keeps it in the zone underneath the parks. But now the Stallions with it. Dugan trying to keep it. He wants another the way it looks. Potter feeding and Thayer hangs on. Arnold with the assist. Lone assist. Is that Dugan's first one with... Dugan currently has, try to find him here on our stat sheet. Yeah, you're gonna have to look on the, see if anything's on the. All right, so face off one by the Warriors and they take an early shot. And they are hanging on to him. He's facing a lot of shots there, only giving up two goals. Face off one by the Warriors again. Carruthers feeding off the board. Plummer trying to get it. There's, I guess, shut it down. And that's off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing him on the statue, so it might be his first. Yeah, I think it is. Plummer on the face off. Freezing in on the action, he's just got beat. He almost picked up the puck on the reach. Puck's dumped in off the boards. Carruthers picks up on the backhand. Oh, it goes through the feet of low. Freezing with it now. Now we here we are, carrying it. Goes far over to Nicky Fork. We're at the one minute mark. Puck's up front, freezing with it now, takes a look. It's soft, chasing it out, rolling it up off the stick. Plummer picks it up off the boards. Plummer there working, he gets shoved off. Freezing feeds it, it's a stick save. Nicky Fork's going to try to keep it. He throws it back into the corner, into the mix. Plummer there feeding a slot. Now it's going to be captured by Carruthers. Carruthers with the shot, and it's broken up. He's trying to get a hold of it. Now it's going to be freezing. It's going to chase this out. He backhands on the... Oh, and it 
Can it be kept? Carruthers on a shot. Oh! It was tipped out as Plummer was right there. Now into the corner. Face uh, uh, whistle behind the play. Two players tied up. So Carruthers, it looks like he was tied up there with Cheney. I'm not sure. Cheney's heading into the sin bin there. Holding. That leaves 26.2 seconds remaining in the first period. What a long three minutes. <laughs> I think we've heard the song in its entirety so far. Arnold taking the, the drop. He's going up against Desmond. It's going to be picked up by the Stallions. They're trying to hold it into the corner there, but now it's going to be drawn out. Arnold gets a hold of it, and Ali with it now. Ali is going to go see if he goes far. Carruthers with the one time. Oh, nailed someone in the back on that one. And Ali with it now. Still got a little bit of time left. Ali working. Ali hanging on. Here we go, Arnold. Arnold will give to Carruthers. Carruthers going to try He's got some room. Takes a shot. He picks high and wide, and it's going to be picked up Arnold. He's got a few seconds left, and it is done. So the damage is done. The Warriors come out with two goals, and it's a two to one game here, and they're still gonna work on a power play coming into the second. So it's a two one Warriors lead. We'll take a break into the intermission. You're watching Indiana Tech Warriors hockey here on the Warriors Broadcast Network, brought to you by Summit City Sports. Wanna know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. Tech goes by many names. Business. Fine art. Forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech?
visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Back here at the Parkview Sport One Ice House, we are in our intermission, first intermission. Shots on goal, 6-19 to in favor of the Warriors as they lead 2-1 to over Western Michigan. Block shots 2-0. Six penalty minutes apiece. Western Michigan one for two on the power play. Warriors are in the middle of their second, so currently 0 for two. Face off 11 18 here after one. Two goals here in the, well, three goals, I would rather say. So we all take a look. Here is our first one early on in the game. You see here they're working around. Coming down, Barney over to Potter. And it is just a simple wrist shot through the five hole. And probably a lot of screening on that one for the goaltender Thayer. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Uh, screen set up and just shoving it in there. It was all silent. You could hear a pin drop when that puck went in. Well, it wouldn't last long, however. Western Michigan would respond on the power play. This is either working around, gets it over to number five, uh, Sewerston. And they just able to put a very nice shot on goal, tied it up at one on the power play. Yeah, and it's something that's unfamiliar to them. They, they weren't in this position last night, so that ought to fire up the Stallions bench. And we stayed that way for about yeah, a minute, give or take. A good face-off tie-up. And then T.J. Dugan comes right in, goes across to the slot, and just rips it into the net for the 2-1 lead. That is where we sit after one. Yeah, Dugan just firing away there. We don't have many stats on him here, so we'll have to get some uh, information on that. But what an effort. And then he came fired up after that trying to get another one. So he may be playing uh, pretty good. He's all pumped up for tonight's game. Throwing one in. And at this point, it's the game winner. So he's going to keep try to help the team uh, add to that or guard that lead so that uh, Warriors can come out with us. But as they you know, reported on last night, we'll see. There's probably a lot more action from both teams yet here coming in the second. Well, it's a 2-1 Warriors lead here. As we are in our first intermission, we'll take another break. You're watching Warriors Hockey here on the Warriors Broadcast Network, brought to you by Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches, and I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands, so he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping, so preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. 
a journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union. You're invited. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration 
captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. back live for second period action about to begin as both teams are taken to the ice the stallions are set up warriors had a last second coaching on the bench and they're working on a power play here going into the second we're ready for some action here as the stallions are taking on the warriors here battling for the ice 69 cup Face off, credit the win to the Warriors as they come on on the fresh ice. Barney with it, tries to throw it back to Bennett, but it's going to be the Stallions to pick up. And they look, they're going to carry instead of dump. They do throw it in onside. Chasing it hard is the effort there of Tenney trying to turn the puck over, but here come the Warriors now. Chabot off the skates of Barney over to Bennett. Bennett with it, trying to feed it up to Barney. Barney throwing it around to Chabot. Chabot hanging on to it. He's with the puck now. Chabot in around over to Bennett. Bennett has it. Bennett feeds over to Barney. Barney now is going to change spots with Potter. Barney hanging on. Potter looking for a one-timer, but in a shot off shoulder save into the safety netting. Is the effort there of Justin Thayer, who shuts down the first shot into the second period. Power play effort by the Warriors. Yeah, that was a great shot there for Barney. Tried to pick the corner, but goaltender able to stand tall and use the shoulder to direct it up into the safety netting. Yeah, he had a lane there, so I'm not sure if they were drawing on that one-time look by Potter. But left a shot off the side of the net, picked up. Still hanging on to the puck, taking another effort there. In and out, Arnold now picked up Ali. Ali may go to low. He does soft, but low feeds it back over to Arnold, and that goes splits. The effort there with Carruthers and Ali coming. Low with it now, low hanging on. He had the uh, effort of Stoner coming up. Now Stoner has got a factor in there, but now he tries to get it out. And now it's gonna be picked up by Steins as they clear it. But it does go, does go neutral. So now trying to come in the action there with Stoner was the good chase there. Now pass Arnold, picks up from Ali. Going in, still hanging on. Arnold stops, puts it on. Over to Ali, takes a shot, and a good save by Thayer. Still on rebound, picked up. Now the penalty has expired. Carruthers comes back very wisely as the, the player comes out of the box of Cheney. Now low with the puck now. He's going in, trying to get in. Got a delayed penalty. Coming in! Plummer couldn't pick up as he's behind. He has the puck now, still working on the delayed penalty, and it's, oh, as Carruthers was coming in, but it was gonna be shut down there by Adams anyway. Pretty much right as they get back to full strength, Western Michigan back on the uh, penalty kill. Yeah, gets a slash. 
believe that's no, number eight. Believe, can't see the number now. Number eight. Oh, number eight. So Stoner, Trent Stoner was playing very effective on that penalty kill, but he must have got a little too effective to pick up the slash. Here we go. Chabot picks up from Potter. Now Bennett back to Potter. Bennett has it now. He goes to Potter. Potter's taking a look at Barney. Barney wanted to show one time. Oh, and one time but picked up. Oh! His Krasny picked up the whiff on the shot there, but he picked it up easily in the slot. Now here comes Chabot. Oh, and he's trying to feed Bennett. Bennett was too far behind the action where the puck ended up, and now we have it up into the netting, I believe. That's all. Oh, Krasny almost made the most of that whiff shot, yes. though. It wasn't, I guarantee that wasn't the initial plan, but it almost worked. Yeah, when I mess up in a game, I call it a design play. So we'll never know. Chabot on the faceoff tries to get it back, but it's going to be picked up, and it's going to be picked up into the hands of Barney. He feeds back to Chabot, back to Barney. Barney with it now. Barney goes to Potter. Potter tries this again, and he scores this time! They say practice makes perfect. That's two goals on the night for him. And he picks up on the one-timer from Barney. Puts it in the net. Now you see Potter just absolutely rips it on this one tee. A good back and forth with Barney. And it looks from like Chabot, I believe. Chabot. And eventually Barney works it over to Potter. Rips it home on the power play. So the Warriors come out off this power play effort there. The first one was, was uh, effective. Penalty kill for the Stallions, but back to back was too much there for Thayer as the Warriors got a chance to set up a few times. Now picked up by Plummer. He's coming in on the head of steam. He's got to gather himself, feeds it soft, and now it's going to be the Stallions that sees in as Barney comes in. Or was, or was Nicky Fork? I saw the four. Shot goes way wide. Picked up Stallions on the backhand. Can't do anything with it. Now it's picked up by the Warriors. Here comes Freeze, and Freeze feeds over to Nicky Fork as he's back up on his feet. He's hanging on to it, takes a shot, but I think it was blocked as he end up nailing Hayward. Here we go, Nicky Fork with it now. He's got some room, can he do it? He's going in and he can't hang on to it. He looked like he was gonna choose the backhand. Plummer there feeds it back to Nick Fork. Nick Fork there working. Now it's going to be turned over by the Stallions, and here they come now looking to see if they hang on. They throw it off, and, and now it's going to be kept in or put in there by the effort of Sewardson. It's a battle of the fives now as he goes up against Carruthers. Now the puck's picked up by the Warriors. Here they come now. Gibson gives it over to Jeffrey. Jeffrey with it now. He takes a shot, ends up in the glove to finish off the change for the Warriors. And they will face off the glove side. It seems at this end of the ice, they're choosing, getting all the face-offs on the, the glove side. Of Basically Thayer. along the near side. Yeah, same side, in a sense. On our side, how's that? <laughs> so we can see all the action here. We thank them for that. Spot on the face-off is going to be picked up. I believe Peters picks that up. Or actually, yeah, it was Peters. He's with it now. He's got to chase it out because now incoming and... It is tipped around, but it is now picked up by Lowe. Lowe picks it up back near the faceoff dots. He's carrying the puck. Looks, he stretches out of Fortin. Fortin picks up. Here he goes inside. Throws it early. He had some heat there from Peters. And now the puck is going to be kept in by Jeffrey. Now it's on point. Lowe with it now. Lowe going to carry. He uh, takes and he fires on Thayer. Shuts down. And he kind of uh, fooled the... Uh, no, I can't see the number now. I don't know if he was uh, against Chaney or not, but he fooled him as so he gave him some room to come in. On the attempt. Looks like Arnold did the draw. Dugan picks up and he's going. I thought he was going to fire, but he feeds it. Now it's going to be still held on. Ali picks up as it was a block there. Or almost intercept. Dugan comes uh, sidestepping through the paint there. So he gets through the crease. He's working. Feeds it back in the corner. Ali working. Throws it back around. Oh, and nailed in the back. Potter looking for that one-timer again. He's looking for a hat. He feeds it. Oh, and it was broken up by Arnold. It was on its way. But it may not. It's not kept, but it is put in. Barney throws it back in on an offside. So Barney may get another elbow. 
Yeah, it was right on the and head. And now Potter's going to come back because as everyone was looking, nice defense as he shuts down the effort of Stoner, takes a dive and plays the puck. Head contact on Barney. So Cole Barney, the Fort Wayne native, is uh, going to have a seat in the penalty box, make that his home, as this is his home. At four minutes and 40, or 57, 47 seconds. Oh, what's there? Michigan already has a power play goal this evening. Desmond this will be the third. On the faceoff against Chabot. It's drawn back. Peters picks up. Now trying to get it. Oh, breaking it up. Krasny there helps feed it. Chabot gets it. Chabot looks, takes a shot in and out. Now it's going to be picked up and carried up now by the Stallions trying to get it in. Can't hang on to it. As Krasny there ties up his guy. And that being of uh, Olinger's, he couldn't hang on. Now the puck's clear. It's going to be picked up by Peters in the zone. Hayward on the try to spoil the effort of Chabot on the pinch there. Now the puck is going to be picked up and trying to decide what to do to carry it in or not it was Desmond. Low with it now. Lowe's trying to tie it up. Hayward's all over him. Or Sewardson, I should say. Sewardson now against Low. Here comes Low. Low looking. Feeds it behind Chabot, but it's a chance for Carruthers to come in. He's going in strong up against Loring. Ties it up. Picks it up. Here we go. Carruthers with it now. See if he sails it out of the zone, and he does. Gets it back to Potter. Potter now with it. Potter looks. Throws it in on target, and it's held and played by Thayer as he puts it down. Just under a minute left in the penalty kill for the Warriors. Stallions coming up the ice. Here they go. Now trying to get something going. Trying to carry it in. It's Tenney. Now the puck's cleared out. It's going to be picked up by Stoner as he picks it back up in the defensive zone for the Stallions. Friesen almost getting a piece of it on the chase. And here they come up the ice again. Loring now trying to get it in. Potter shuts it down, but it's going to be picked up. Oh, and a check there on an attempt. Nice effort there. Now Campbell just collides. Comes Campbell. Oh, it takes a crazy bounce off the doors, but it gives it a chance for Friesen to clear it. And now we are at 15 seconds on the penalty kill for the Warriors. Thayer holds it behind the net. Now picked up and fed up the ice. Picked up in the stick. They're Cheney, but in and out. As here comes Ali taking a look on the shorthander. He's hanging on, trying to feed it up front. Turned over, and the puck's now picked up by Kotre. Kotre throws it back around, and now it's going to be still on goal line. Coming up a stoner way up high. Lowe's defending that. Oh, broken up. Ali almost got a piece of it. And now we're back to full strength. Now oh, whiffed on the shot, but it's loose. Poked out by Carruthers. Now Carruthers almost will pick it up. He's got Ali with him. He stays on side and almost picked up the puck. He's got to gain the balance. And now comes a check. Oh, what a hit by Ali. He went up against Parks, who was stumbling there on the possession. Now here we go. Picked the part off in the paint. Oh, it's out loose, and it's almost kept in by. It's out in the neutral. Almost kept in by Dugan. Now Carruthers is looking. He's got to get rid of it early. Now it's back into the zone, cycling around the defense of the Stallions now picked up into the hands of Hayward. Hayward trying to hang on to it as Arnold's putting the heat on. Now the puck gets picked up by Carruthers. Carruthers looks, throws it back into the corner, but it laid off sides. It gives a chance for the Warriors to change. Stallions still at goal line as soon as the change is done for the Warriors. Fires up ice, goes through everybody, and now it's picked up by Carruthers. Carruthers feeds it back to Lowe. Lowe's got some heat coming. Lowe hangs on to it, throws it back around. Chabot picks up, just backhands it, tips it, and Bennett there. Still delayed off now for, should still be. Now they finally get on side. Now it's going to be picked up by the Warriors behind their goal line. Looking here, we got a far side. Oh, they go up middle. Picked up Bennett. Bennett still hangs on to it. Chabot gets in. Bennett, oh, he whiffs on it. And the puck's airborne, and it's Potter picking it up as he goes up against and the puck's still out of the zone, but it's picked up by Krasny as Potter is tied up with Sewardson. Feeding it, trying to feed it across, but turned over. It's kept and dumped in by Desmond. Gives Carruthers back, trying to get the puck, and now it's battled against with Olinger. Now here we go. Now here comes Krasny. Krasny's got some room, and he's got Chabot with him. Feeds over to Chabot, gets under the stick, gets in. Chabot going, Krasny up front looking. Chabot hanging on. Krasny's tying, he gets taken off the play. Bennett comes in. Now it's going to be picked up by Sewardson. He goes to clear it. Barney picks up. Barney quick throws it back into the corner. 
Potter picks it. Well, Potter will pick this up now. And it's a battle now as he's going with Krasny as he was fed that from Krasny as he came around Chabot with it. Now feeds over to Barney. Barney taking a look, takes a shot in and out of the shin pads. Block stopped there by Olinger. Barney's got to come back as Sewardson comes. Now here's Potter. Potter looking. It's broken up as it was given to Plummer. Plummer's taken off the play, but uh, anybody goes in. Potter has to try to pick it up against Sewardson, and he's backstepped. Now here we go. Now it's picked up Nick and Fork. Nick and Fork's got Friesen with it. Will he choose? He does. Oh, oh, what a stop. Oh, he just chose Hyde. And, and I believe Thayer got a piece of that sending it over. I don't think it was all alone on cross. Here we go. Now still hanging on to the puck. Nicky Fork there. It's tied up. The action's finally come with Body. And now it's picked up by Potter. Potter gives it, or uh, Barney gives it up to Potter. Potter throws it around, and it's going to be Plummer that gets there first. Plummer there freezing up in front of the crease. Now working. It's going to be picked up by the Stallions. They try to throw it out. Oh, Barney, he gets it, but it's in the neutral. He tried to hang on to it. And now here we go. Freezing there is going to be tied up there right in front of the scoring circle. So if anything happens here, they'll see it. Puck's thrown into the corner, picked up by Potter. Full change for the Stallions as slow changes now. Nicky Fork, oh, he couldn't get it over to Jeffrey. He was just out in front trying to clear it around. It will be Plummer that hangs on to it, maybe. And now it was turned, poked, poked out by Stoner. And now it's flipped in by Potter. Potter needs a much needed change, and he is getting over there. So now, now he's got to stay out. So here we go. Now here we go. Fortin with it. Fortin oh, almost got a trip there. Fortin's going to try to keep it in the zone. Potter finally made the change. Gibson's out and Campbell's out for defense. And here goes Fodder on the battle fort in there. He's trying to keep it in, but it's going to be flung up in the air. And, oh, and it hit a... It broke the light. Hit something there. I thought it, it was going to... Hit the gonna, light. Yeah, I thought it was going to clear it. I watch out for maybe a little bit of glass down there. I'm not sure how durable those are. I don't mm. think I've ever seen them really hit. That'd be cool if they hit the disco ball, see what it does. Oh, boy. I don't even know why that's out here. Yeah, for uh, figure skating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Bee Gees might get upset if it does get does get hit. So here we are. Face off's going to be anyone's pocket is still there. Now it's picked up by the Stallions. Here they come now. It's in the stick. Hey, we're trying to get it to go. Throws it up. Gibson on the keep. And they say offsides as he was trying to. It'd be offsides or hand pass either way. Take a quick look at that save earlier there by Justin Thayer, though. You see here a turnover just inside the Warriors' zone, a 2 on O. Oh, all the net and opportunity and time in the world and a great save by Justin Thayer. Yeah, he looked good there, and that may be what he likes to play at, some of the efforts that's gone against him. He'll get better at that, and he sure looks sharp there, so he's got some assets. All right, so here we go. Now, low work and behind the goal line. Got some resistance here. Trying to get it in and out. Gets out of the hands. Ali, Ali gets it out and playable, and he's still working it. He comes out with it now. He's solid. He sees Arnold, takes a shot. It's loose. Oh, it's a battle. It's still up front, and it is. Everybody's in. There's maybe three players on their skates. The rest are down on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> Play to the whistle, that thing was loose, and everybody's just diving in there to either keep it out or put it in. And Thayer cap his head, cool there. And he's coming around now, so. This is what he wants, he, he's liking this so far. That's the 28th shot on goal for the Warriors so far this game. And Western Michigan has yet to put a shot on goal this period. Olinger and Ali are going at it as they were going at it before this shot, and it's out front again. Now it's going to be picked up off the glass, and we're going to have some, uh, eh, we're going to see, we're going to have high sticks on. So Ali had gone and ran into Olinger when the puck wasn't dropped, and then they... And then they went back at it after it, so I believe they'll be both in the penalty box. Now it looks like instead Loring's going in, just Loring alone. So he must have retaliated after that. It's a Warriors power play. They are one for two on the evening. I think they'll be starting their, oh no, excuse me, one for three. They're starting their fourth power play. Stallions pick it up, try to clear it. Puck rides the rail, picked up Potter. Potter over to Bennett. Back to Potter. Potter taking a look. Goes over to Barney. Barney this time shut down. Another one-timer and a shot. And it did go in the second effort on the rebound. Krasny picked up. 
And now it's going to be picked up by Chabot. Chabot feeding. Krasny trying to get, or uh, was trying to get through Bennett's effort there. Now picked up by Chabot. Chabot's going to choose Barney. Barney sees Potter wide open. He sees a slight lane there with screen set up. But Chabot picks up, takes a shot. Pad save. Now picked up Potter as it wraps around. Potter with it now. Potter going over to Bennett. Bennett now taking a look. Oh, he hits the crossbar as uh, they're ducked a little on that. Now it's going to be picked up. Now tied up. Bennett picks it up. And Chabot was shoved back. Now here we go. Potter back over to Bennett. Bennett taking a look over to Barney. Barney back and he takes a shot in it. Oh, what an effort there. It looked like it was a double team. Chabot, Krasny trying to put it in, but it goes wide. Now it's picked up. Chabot with it now. Chabot coming around, taking a look. He's going to hang on. Takes his famous. Oh, this time he went early. Tried to feed. And now it is going to be picked up there by Barney. Miss Desmond was shutting down. Oh, it's in. Chabot, as Arnold gets around, he somehow gets in. Chabot has the puck. He's looking. Arnold comes up. And we don't have the other D out. There we do. So Lowe's back out. Carruthers uh, finally gets to the right side. And here we go. So Ali working. Ali hanging on. There's Plummer. Now he feeds it back over to Arnold. Arnold with it now. Arnold taking a look. He's going to feed. Oh, go across. The Carruthers waits. Oh, and he was shut down by Sewardson. Now it's a battle of the fives again. And now here we go. The puck. Oh, it looked like the whole bench jumped for the Warriors, but it made its way down. And a change coming for Stallions. Let's see if the Warriors take, take advantage of it. Here comes Lowe. Lowe trying to get through. Lowe takes a look. Oh, it's broken up. And it goes wide. The puck's cleared around. And now it's going to be picked up by Lowe. Carruthers comes back, guards the door as the extra player comes out and becomes almost effective. But now, by the time he does get near the puck as it rebounded out, it's picked up by the Warriors. It's slow mode into the zone. Here we go. Krasny picks up from Carruthers. Here comes Krasny now. He's working. He gives it up to Arnold. Or Plummer throws it behind. And here come the Stallions now back to full strength on the penalty kill for them. Trying to get it around. It's going to be kept in and it's off the hands of Cotre. Now picked up in the corner. Looking, feeding up ice, tipped by Friesen for a no ice. Thayer covers it as he picks it up on the stick wide of the net. Warriors with more strong chances here. One of them rang off the crossbar here. They are buzzing as they're looking to extend the lead, but between the post and the great goaltending from Justin Thayer. They are staying in this one. Down by two, three to one is our score. Yeah, Thayer's coming alive. You're gonna have to be accurate here to get any more past him. So he's fired up, he's looking good. He's not tiring out like you see a lot of netminders do. I think this is his game at this point. He just needs a team to capitalize and help him out a little bit because he is seeing it all. All right, here they go, Stallions. Trying to get it out, working, and it's turned over again. Joffrey there, still trying to tie his guy up. Gibson's going to hold the line. Defense comes back, but now it's on to the neutral. Gibson, though, is working, and he finally feeds it in. And how it did not hit a beam. Can't I think it did, and they just didn't notice. Oh, because it looks like it could have went up another eight feet. Jeffrey, but it was tipped on, the, on an attempt there, a block shot by Adams to set it up into the safety netting. I think that one may have grazed the roof here, but not hard enough to make a sound. So they don't yep. know if it dropped right down or what, but that was way up there. So Plummer up against Desmond there. It's going to be picked up by the Warriors. Gibson with it now. Gibson taking a look. He feeds it over to Nick Fork. Nick Fork takes a shot as Plummer was there on a rebound. Now picked up. And now still working Plummer there, trying to get a hold of it. And Gibson's got to come way in. And now Friesen comes back and guards his spot. He's trying to hands it in. It's across the paint. And now it's going to be kept in on an attempt. Oh, Nick Fork was going to look like he was going to try to redirect the effort there. And Campbell. But Thayer shuts it down. 5-10 remaining here in the second period. Last goal in this one. The only goal in the period belongs to Alex Potter on the power play. Yeah, so far he's got one per period. A good sign going into the third for him. Yeah, so stick around if you're a Potter fan. All right, so here we are. Dugan there trying to work. Puck taken away. And it will be Barney on the keep as uh, looking behind was Ollinger, but here's an attempt there. Thayer shuts down, but good heads up by Barney to play that puck, keep it into the zone. 
three man change for the Stallions, none for the Warriors. Looks like full unit changes for both teams. So, Coach Regus Arnold, and it's going to be, oh, well, almost looked like it was going to be taken away by Dugan. Eventually, it is as he goes against Adams. Or not Adams, actually, by Draymond, and I think he's the one that put it in on the icing. Uh, they're at center ice, so huh. well, maybe, maybe it went up out of play. Maybe it did, because he did shoot it from the red line here. Yeah, you can see Must the have just, moving just We can't see bit. there. Yeah. yeah, that near side corner is hard for you. I can barely see it on the monitor when the camera grows over yeah. that way. Nonetheless, the Steins come out with a faceoff, and here they look. Oh, it looked like he was going to go far side, but picked it up last second with Stokes, so he tried to hang on to it. I think he was a little shocked he picked that up. Chabot with it now, trying to split, cannot get through to the hands of Peters as he's on the corner with him. Barney hangs on. Barney ta oh, takes a crazy bounce, and it ends up in. Barney fires it, and it hits the stick of Bryce Stokes, and it does a crazy hop. <laughs> Just bing, bing, bing all the way in. They are not happy. He's played a good game, and to give up one, up a crazy one like that is, is disheartening to the Stallions. So that shot went off one of the Stallions. Not to see who that gets credited to. Uh, Barney took the shot, so I don't know if anyone else picked it up along the way because it was uh, doing the bouncing Betty all the way down. See, once they uh, update it, Zach Bennett with the goal, Barney on the assist. Oh, so Bennett picks up. Wow. He's been needing something here. Can't remember what he needs put into the boards. It's Fada now. Fortin working. Fortin working. Fada now changes up, trying to pick up. And here come the Steins on a laser pass. Going to be an icing, but may not be. His back getting strong as Stoner. Stoner picks up with an attempt, and it's loose out front. And here comes the Warriors. Fada's looking at a headache. He's double teamed right in front of the bench. He turns the puck over in another attempt, and it's held on looking for it, and he ha hangs on to it as Funk. Wow, turn of events there. St the Steins came up strong. We don't want to mention the time because this will last 30 minutes. Face off inside of the uh, zone. Uh, Bennett took the puck for some reason. So he's looking, I think he was looking at three more goals for a, a record, at, and that may have been it. But since it's a new year, <laughs> I've kind of kind of lost touch with some of the, oh, tipped up into the safety netting. Yeah. The dreaded three-minute mark. Okay, and we got another puck that needs to be brought out off the uh, ice bucket. Oh, so hopefully we got plenty. Oh, nope. It was in the safety net on that one. Uh, they get it back. Okay. I think if that's Dugan's first, he'll be keeping one of them. Bennett's keeping one to pick up his stats. I can't remember what it was he was telling me. Oh, this, oh off the shin pads, gives a freebie. Nicky Fork with it, gives it up to Plummer. Let's see if they split. He's got freezing. Goes soft up front. Now Friesen will pick up. He's going to go up to Gibson. Gibson now, he may go to Campbell. And then steady feeds it. It gets through. Campbell comes all the way in. Nick Fort comes back. And Plummer tied up. And the puck's going to be picked up by Campbell. Takes a shot in and out of the pads. It goes. Plummer will pick up the rebound. Plummer is seeing some, some strong tie-up. Down he goes. Down goes Another Warrior freezing, so it gives a chance for the Stallions to pick up the puck, and here they come. Strong, a far side pass, takes a hop right over the stick. Now it's going to be into the neutral. Well, no, Plumber throws it back to defense. Picked up Gibson, Gibson with it now. Here comes Gibson around with the puck, he and he gets through one. Oh, and he doesn't. Oh, and it's going to be turned over. Oh, misfire, and Nicky Fork may capitalize, but cannot as Loring does regather it. Now Sewardson gets it. Taken away from him from the effort of Gibson. Gibson picks up the pass now from Ali. Now the puck is split, and now it's going to be an icing maybe. Nope, now it's picked up. Brothers picked up. Ali takes a shot there, just being there, stopped it. Now he's hot back up. So Barney gets a little sock there. Potter with it. Oh, and he's double teamed. Gives a chance for the Stallions to come up. Now everyone sees it. Penalty coming. 
And so now it's going to be a, a boarding. So that should be against the Stallions there as they. Yep, Seward, Blake Sewardson is uh, in the penalty box for the boarding call at 17.45. Coming at 2.15. Didn't see what the uh, hand signal was. I was getting the Bennett goal tweeted out. Did yeah, I believe it was? it was a boarding. boarding. I think that's when they double teamed Potter. I think something. One might have been a clean check because he was tied up. The other one came in to finish him off. He oh. just flew into the bench. I would argue, oh, I was just going for a change. Picked up, Potter takes a shot into the shin pads. He gets, picks it up from Chabot. He nails the, the legs of Stokes. Barney picks up from Potter. Barney now cycling. Potter changes spots. Here's Barney still looking. He's got room. It's almost broken up by the hands of Stokes. Chabot with it now. Here comes Chabot. He's going to take a lap or two around. Instead, he takes a shot. He goes wide. He had some open real estate. Barney picks it up from the wrap off the boards. Barney with it now. Now picked up here, Bennett picks up, Bennett comes in, oh, that's Chabot there. Now picked up, Barney may go back to Chabot. It's given up to Krasny. Krasny now, Chabot, Chabot over to Barney. Potter shows one timer, but he hangs on, takes a snapper, and it's held on by Thayer as he shoves it there high on the slot. And changes for both, a buck 21 remaining in the second, a minute five for the power play. Yeah, Warriors playing good right now. Face off back inside the Warriors zone. Looks like it'll be far side on Thayer. All right, so here we go. Action now. It's going to be picked up. And Arnold with a quick shot in and out. Oh, and he held on. It looked like he was going to hop it out. Bobbled in the glove, but he shut it down. Try this again. Plummer shows, I uh, thought he was going to try to go to his left side this time, but he does pick up the puck. He's going to feed point. He gives it over to Lowe. Lowe hangs on. Lowe's going to go in a little bit. Lowe hangs on. He goes back to Carruthers. Carruthers feeds it over to Ali. Ali with it. Ali there. Arnold there tying up the paint. Here we go, cycling around. Oh, off. Plummer gets it off the skates. Ali showing wide. Arnold picks up, and now it's going to be picked up Stallions, and they clear it out. As everybody's, everyone's on the ice here. Meanwhile, Carruthers picks up one shift remaining here. So here we are under 40 seconds. Carruthers going in, and he just gets through. Carruthers, or, or uh, Chabot almost went off sides. So here we go. Chabot with it now. Chabot carrying it. He may drop back a low, but he's got all the way in. Oh, he's trying to feed up. Ali couldn't pick it up. And now it's cleared out, and now we're still at 20-some seconds, and now we are at... Full strength, picked up low with it now. He sees some pressure there from Desmond, I believe. And here comes Low. Low up, throws it over to Krasny. Krasny's got to chase this out. It'll be no ice. And it's picked up there. He's trying to get a hold of it. And he battles there with sticks on. Oh, and man, the Stallions capitalize. They get it out as Thayer had come out wide, but they didn't want to see a goal scored on him with a few seconds remaining. And nonetheless, two goals put up here in this period, I believe, or is it one? One goal was put two. in, two. So four to one. At the end of the second period, the Indiana Tech Warriors on top of the Stallions here. We'll take a break. You are watching Warriors Hockey, brought to you by Summit City Sports. Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything.
Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. Tech goes by many names. Business. Fine art. Forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships. Internships. Championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. what's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And we change what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like, work for what I have. And I know I can like, even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer, and you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really it's really. Back here at the Parkview Sport One Ice House, we are in our second intermission here, where the Warriors have up, gone up four to one. Shots on goal that period, two for Western Michigan, bringing it to a two period total of eight. Another 19 for the Warriors, bringing them up to a two period total of 38. Block shots, Western Michigan credited with seven block shots in that period to bring them to a two period total of nine. The Warriors get up to two. A penalty minutes 12 for Western Michigan through two. Eight for the Warriors. Power play efficiency. Both teams have scored once. The Stallions one for three. The Warriors one for five. Faceoffs 23-29. Two goals scored that period. 
both by the Indiana Tech Warriors. First up is a ripper from the point on the power play from Alex Potter. You see it's worked around down out to the point. Barney and Chabot play a little give and go. And then Barney right over to Potter who just rips it in like Alex Ovechkin to give him the 3-1 lead. Yeah, that was beautiful. Just like Ovechkin's on a roll of uh, being one of the greatest. Potter uh, playing a very good defense being one of the greatest defensemen we've had here. So, yeah, he's putting the numbers up too. And then later on, we have a great save here by the goaltender for Western Michigan, Justin Thayer. You see a two on O, all that open net, and Thayer able to dive over, get the arm out, and make the save. What an amazing save by Justin Thayer. Yeah, he played, he, he played that right. He stayed with it. His reaction time was great, but nonetheless, he thought it through. And he... Uh, he didn't get pushed around, so yeah, he's he's looking good. So on those block shots too, it's a team effort. They need to take this third period and, and put that much effort into their the front line, get the front of the house up and into the scoring positions and try to reel it back in for them because they're looking good. This is a lot different than they were last night, and you know with the efforts of Thayer and then you know everyone taking some block shots, be it their choice or not, nonetheless, it's keeping it from getting into the net, making it you know a game out of hand and out of reach for the Stallions. Now there's that funny bounce by uh, the good old Zach Bennett. Oh. No idea what really happened. It looked like Barney shot it, and then Bennett just like, I don't think it was trying to tip it because the stick didn't move really. He didn't like move his hands to try to tip it. Yeah, so it looked like he just nicked his stick and just it fluttered did. So right it over. Hit. Stokes came up at him, and he, he uh, if we could see that again, he came up and Stokes came at him, and that's where it first hit his stick and did this crazy bounce, and apparently Man. Bennett was the beneficiary. You see Bennett, like, move his stick, but I don't know if he was trying to tip or if he was just trying not to hit the Western Michigan player in the back of the legs with the stick, <laughs> maybe a little bit of both. Yeah. But it works one way or another. So we have a 4-1 lead here for the Warriors. We will be right back. You're watching Warriors Hockey, brought to you by Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. And I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. 
to help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in I cryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. All right, here we are. Third period action about to begin. We are ready. No one in the penalty box. A five on five start here. And now the puck's going to be picked up into the neutral zone by the Stallions as they try to feed down. Broken up, Barney backhands over to Potter. Potter with it now, feeds up to Plummer. He throws it in off the boards. Nicky Fork throws it around and now picking it up. Freeze and he'll go after it on the fresh ice. Now here they are still working. Plummer trying it, gets through, and it's going to be kept by Barney. He has to come way up. Freeze and working. It's all along the boards, and Nicky Fork leaves it up to Barney. Barney hanging on, takes a shot, broken up off. The stallion stick, he picks up on the rebound. He gets that off of Desmond, captain, now taking a shot in and out. And now it's going to be picked up by the Stallions as they look. Oh, they turn it over. Couldn't hang on to it. Nicky Fork takes the turnover as the puck was thrown around by Loring. Plummer gets hit in the back, and now here it is. Friesen gives up to Potter. Potter gives over to Barney. Barney looking, taking a shot into the mix and off the pipes. Now here's Plummer tying his guy up, leaves the chance for Nick Fork with it. Nick Fork goes over to Barney, back to Nick Fork. Nick Fork with it now. He's taking a look, takes a shot, and it's silent, but it's shut down. Thayer hanging on to another one, and he was tied up. And he was 
saving the day there, coming out strong. One minute off the ticker there as all the action was down in the Stallion zone. Bennett on the faceoff is going to be picked up Stallions, but it's not easy as Krasny comes in to try to thwart it. Now the puck's going to find its way from Chabot to low. Now here we go to Carruthers. Carruthers feeding it over to track Krasny, but it is now going to be picked up by Peters. Peters with it now. He's throwing it, and now it's splitting, but picked up by Chabot into the neutral zone. Chabot feeding it to Krasny. Krasny with it. He's got Bennett going in. He sees Bennett now. He's going to give it to him. Oh, and it goes off the flippers instead. Astaire was following it. So low gives it to Carruthers, now feeding over to Krasny. Krasny gets through. He disposes the effort of Driven. Tries it on the backhand, takes a crazy bounce off his stick. Might have been Peters and shot down by Thayer. Well, once again, the Warriors with a lot of pressure early on. 18-20 left here in the third. And we have a faceoff far side in the Western Michigan zone. Out on the fresh ice, here's where the action is. Here's where it's fun to play when you come out between periods here. Oh, trying to get something there, trying to hands it, but broken up and thrown clear back on an icing with the Stallions. I think Arnold was trying to do something, picking it up early, and it was disposed of. Speaking of fresh ice, I went up and played pond hockey today, which is a blast. And we had this the best ice I've ever been on. I don't even think I need a skate sharpening after it. With a great group of guys, we've been playing somewhere on a pond somewhere for years. And we went way up north, obviously, to find it. It was a blast. So here we are, feeding Dugan, trying to work on another, working in the corner. Now picked up Arnold. Arnold loses it again, but it's chased out and picked up. Now working in the corner. Ali there, drops it over to Arnold. Arnold takes a look, takes a shot there, fouls it, and shuts it down. Yeah, I've, I've never played pond hockey. The oh. last outdoor game I ever played in was up in Michigan. And I am um, kicked out and permanently banned from that arena. The, we had a bench fight with our two teams, and it got so bad <laughs> wow. that we all have been banned for life, and they actually called the police on us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like walking out of a hockey rink with the armored SWAT cars out <laughs> in the parking lot. I've been told to not come back to golf courses, but not a hockey, not a hockey rink. That's pretty funny. Out of there trying to work it. It's going to be kept and tipped and fired on by Potter, because he was there with Jeffrey. Potter's going to carry it. Jeffrey's going to take his spot. It's up front soft, and now it's going to be picked up and cleared out, but another ice coming is now chasing it out as Jeffrey, and he wins the race back as the feet of Tasman could not do anything, so he coasted down. So, icing against the Stallions. All right, now they're, they get to choose on the face-off dot for the icing, so it looks like they're going to go with the far side well, this going, period. Yeah, doing some odd. So far. Here we are, face-off. Puck's going to be picked up easily by Potter. Potter looks for one time, but he throws it back. Jeffrey uh, picks it up. Now working. Horton there on the tie-up. Barney will pick up. Barney will go over to Potter. Potter coming up, taking a look, taking a shot, and a save, but oh! There was some room, and a Potter goes in. He gets tripped, but he plays it. So, no call. Barney with it. Now over to Potter. Potter looking again. Over to Barney, but it's pinched, and it's a race, and it's anyone's puck, but Barney gets back first, and it's a battle of the 24s again as he outskates the feet of Olinger, and now the puck is uh, the Steins on the keep. Oh, couldn't hang on to it. He took the check instead. Barney laid out the body of Desmond along the boards. He's going on a change. Thought he was going to keep it in on the backhand, but now here are the Warriors now looking. Feeds it to Jeffrey. Jeffrey picks up a solid pass from Potter, and Potter and Jeff goes on the change. Now skating back into the corner. It's going to be the Stallions that pick this up easily. They throw it around as Plummer's the only force to reckon with here. Now throwing up on the boards. Now here comes Plummer now. Can he get through? He goes wide on the shot. He was still trying to hang on to it. Oh, he feeds up front of the backhand. No doing. Now picked up by the Stallions. Let's see where they go now. Now turned over. Nick a fork with it. He throws it around and around it goes. Low can't cheat up in there because it... Not a safe spot, but, oh, he does hold the line, but it gets through him. Carruthers comes back and hangs on to it. He finds some heat there from the feet of Cotre. Now picked up. Funk leaves it sit back, and now here it is. Carruthers with it now. Carruthers looking. Carruthers has got some pressure now up against Cotre. Now here we go. Plummer with it. Plummer feeds far side, and it goes out of the reach of Nick Eforic. Friesen comes in, and he's just going to... Oh, and he almost makes it effective. He gets a tip, and it hits there. 
almost redirected it in off the pass. Friesen with it now. Friesen gets gets lumped on there. Throws it back into the corner. Now picked up. Stein. Stein's throw back into Peters from the efforts of Park there. Now still working. Stein's working to get it out. They go far with one just off the bench. And that being of Stoner, but it is taken away. And Plummer almost negates Carruthers' efforts. Carruthers comes in. Carruthers still coming in. Now he's behind goal line. Tries to backhand pass. Drops it. And Bennett will pick it up. Bennett with it now. Bennett feeds over to Gibson. Nick at Fort comes in on the change. Out comes Krasny. Chabot with it. Chabot with it. And now Bennett's got to come way in to get it as he goes up against Tenney. And now Bennett finds the puck in his midst, takes a shot, and it goes over the glove, but goes over the net. So Chabot comes back, picks up. He's on goal line. He feeds over to Carruthers. Carruthers sees Stoner would have broke up anything, so he works it. Bennett comes in, gets a hold of it. Now it's back to Krasny as it went through Chabot. All right, now over to Lowe. Lowe coming in. He feeds instead of it to Krasny. He couldn't hang on. It takes a hop, and now Krasny will pick up. He's taking a look. He wants to feed point. He's got some battle to go through. Now the puck's picked up by Tenney trying to get rid of it. Now it's going to be Stoner, I believe. Now picked up. Oh, picked up on low. Changed by the Steins. Low far side. Here he goes. He's coming in. He's hands again. And it couldn't hang on to it as it's slow mode. Right into Thayer's hands and he shuts down the play. I think uh, Western Michigan was hoping to get that further down the ice, but Lowe's able to chip it down. Good hand-eye coordination. Comes right back in as they were still changing. Yeah, and he was dancing through there, getting, getting an attempt going, but right at the last minute, puck comes out in front. A discussion between the forwards here to set this play up for the Warriors. So here we go. Campbell on the keep. He gets it. Throws it back in as he goes up against... Yeah, puck was on the side of the net, and the goaltender uh, okay. froze it. Oh, penalty. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. So we see Jake Olinger in the – too many men, I think, or what? I don't know. I uh, have what? no clue. I just saw the puck on the side of the net when the goalie had his hand over it, or the stick over it, rather. Well, they're looking at, at the uh, – I'm sure they're looking at the stick of – Thayer right now. Let's see what it is here. Uh, cross checking on Ellinger. Oh. Wow. Potter picks up off the face off. He gets it from Chabot. Potter looking. Goes up to Barney. Back to Potter. Potter misses on the shot, but it, it worked for the Warriors. Doesn't help your pride, but it helped the team earlier when he tried it. Chabot picks up the pass from Potter. Here comes Chabot now. Chabot gets through. He's got through. He's got two to reckon with now, and around the world he goes. Here he comes. He's going to look back. He's still hanging on. Takes a shot. And oh, comes out on the rebound. Couldn't be picked up by Bennett. Nonetheless, Potter comes up, picks up. And here's Potter. Feeds over to Bennett. Bennett with it now. Bennett taking a look. Takes a shot. Sails it up. Barney on the pickup. Barney feeds over to Bennett. Bennett taking a look again, trying to get another. And then now it's the same effort, but tipped up into the safety netting with a minute 17 of the power play for the Warriors still in the attacking zone on face. Now face off still inside the zone. Minute 17 left on the power play. 13-33 left here in the third. Burn. All right, so let's get her done here. Looks like face off would be stick side conversation. Got something up with uh, so there. So Thayer had an issue, I thought was the glove, but it looks like the left side looks so look like they're sewing up something on his shorts there. So meanwhile, we're checking out the Comets game. <laughs> Fort Wayne Comets playing in the fort tonight, playing against a tough team of Toledo. Tell them the score there. The Comets pick up the win four to one. And it was not easy. It was a bloody bath. Blood bath <laughs> the whole way. And you know, and here we are. We're here because of the Comets being in Fort Wayne this long and they're, you know, the fan base has helped build this place and we're a lot of com or a lot of hockey fans here in the fort and that's why it makes this exciting to watch. Oh, Nugent drops it back, he, but he splits the defense off the faceoff. Smart move, but he'll pick up a little more accuracy as time goes. 
Now low gives up to Dugan. Dugan with it now. Here comes Dugan. See what he does. He's hanging on to the puck still. He's still got the man advantage at one minute left on the power play. And here we're looking now. Arnold with it. Arnold's going to come way in. He's taking a look, taking a shot. Oh, wow. So here we go. Now picked up. Now Dugan with it. Dugan's feeding backhand. It's sitting up front, and it's cleared by the Stallions. Held on by Funk. Comes back low. Actually passed it to low. Let's see if uh, we can give Funk an A here. Oh, on a hip check, but just putting on the brakes was Arnold. So he got rid of Stewart. And on a shot, and a glove save by Thayer. Yeah, to mention that, uh, some more on comments here on the break here for a second is, is Wowo and, and Hockey have been such an instrumental key factor in, in, in everything in Fort Wayne from the youth hockey to juniors to college. And it is such a treat to be a part of it here. On a one-timer, goes wide. Barney fed over to Potter from Chabot. Chabot again now with it. Potter comes way in. Bennett's still far side. Now Krasny has to battle to pick the puck up as Chabot dropped it right behind the net. Chabot with it now from Krasny. Kra er, Chabot with it. Krasny up front. Chabot drops back. Er, uh, Potter up to Bennett. Potter to Bennett. Bennett over to Barney. Over to Potter. Takes a shot. There. Reads it. And hangs on to it. All right, so here we are, 12-13 remaining in the third. Not a lot to put on the scoring side of the sheet or anything so far here, and that's the good news for the Stallions because they don't want to see any more. They want to see it on their side of the sheet, but they're holding on with all the face-offs happen to be in the Stallions' defensive zone as now here we go. The Warriors still set up, taking a look early on, and with the puck is tipped stick, but it doesn't go into the netting. Still playable, now still working. Steins come in strong, but Plummer picks up the puck, throws it around the corner, and taken away. But now taken away again, Nicky Fora, because he's battling. The puck's sitting there dead as he's going up against, or getting tied up by Loring. Up front, Plummer's effort! Nicky Fora got a good save by Thayer and a clear out. The puck was cleared out there by Olinger. No ice as it dies about on the goal line as Campbell comes back. He fires it, but it's intercepted. Oh, and what a hit there by Plummer, but penalty coming on the hit. Let's see what they call it on here. I think knee or maybe trip or maybe even a knee. Yep, it's a, uh, it's a knee. knee. So power play coming for the Stallions as the puck was intercepted and they had a three-man effort coming in, but two-man D. Thought it was gonna be a good laser pass out of the zone, but it was intercepted and almost an attempt until that melee right there, that his knee, knee contact. His knee on knees are very dangerous. Oh. It is good to see that the Western Michigan player was able to get up. Yeah. It seemed to be no struggle. So Brandon Plummer getting a little juiced up on the play. Picks up the penalty for the Warriors, and now it's picked up for Orton. Picked up the puck that was riding the, uh, the blue line. Oh, and he gets rid of his guy, and he shoves Chaney onto the bench. Orton playing a pretty good penalty kill so far, as well as Fados. He's the cheat in, keeping it in the zone. And here they come. Orton coming in. He breaks up the play there. Now Lowe picks up. Lowe takes a hit. And now the puck's going to be turned over. It was almost cleared. Peters tries to get a shot. It's going to be kept by Loring. Loring's going to look. He feeds it back and throwing around the puck or around the rink. Chaney. And now it's going to be Peters picks up now. The puck is playable. Fortin gets rid of it on the backhand. Changes coming for the Warriors, much needed, as they're now under a minute to play on the penalty kill. Here come the Stallions looking. And puck's dumped in by Peters and he goes on a change and it takes a crazy bounce, almost work, almost too many men there as Peters thought the puck was gonna still be in the zone but it came right back to him. So Parks lays off the play but now he has it. Here we go now, now here come the Stallions trying to come get something going here. It was Adam's effort, Adam's still hanging on to it, loses it in the corner there. But it's kept and now it's picked up by Plummer and now it's a battle to, or actually Krasny. So now here we go. Now the puck was picked up and cleared out by Parks. 
Now Barney with it. Barney goes over to Potter. Potter with it now. He sees Chabot, but he gives it to Krasny. Krasny going on a change. He tips it in on a no ice. Now still working on goal line, trying to get it out of the Stallions. And it is now picked up by Carruthers. Carruthers feeds it up to Ali. Ali's trying to get in there. He gets in the paint. No doing. He gets taken out. And still working now. Low with it. He feeds over to Carruthers. Carruthers takes a look, takes a shot, an easy stop there by the netmire, netminder of Justin Thayer. 9.06 left here in the third. A fast moving period once again as it is still a 4 to 1 game. Face off inside the Western Michigan zone, far side. As it looks like it'll be Dugan to the draw this time. Well, let's see what he does this time. Normally it's Arnold who takes it. Gets it through. No, it's anyone's puck still. Now it's going to be picked up Stallions. Stallions looking. Pucks. Ali ties up his guy. He leaves a chance for Arnold. Picked up Dugan. Trying to feed it out. It's cleared out, but picked up by Gibson. Defense came in to save the day for Thayer there. And here they go now trying to hand it through. And Campbell gets a hold of it, can't get it out of the zone as Drimmon was coming in. He was kept in. No, oh, Gibson gets a hold of it, but it was kept in by Potre. Dugan picks up, tries to th uh, thread the needle to get through. Now coming back to pick up, Campbell picks up the puck back, and he's got one challenge. Arnold gets the pass, but he can't hang on to it. He's working. As now it was uh, Potre there, but now on a shot and a save there. And the puck's cleared out. As the effort of, I think Drummond took that one. Friesen picks up. He's trying to get it through, but it is turned over and shot on Funk from the hands of Hayward. Now picked up. All right, Nicky Fork there. Oh, grabbing it out of the air was Cheney. Now trying to get something going is the hands of Tenney as he gets the puck taken away by Lowe. Lowe gives it up to Friesen, but it's turned over by Stoner. Takes a shot, Funk on the save. Now Campbell coming in, trying to get it through. Nicky Fork there thinks he's going to pick it up easily, but he's got some resistance. It's going to be kept in by Stoner. He couldn't dump it, and it may work for him. Nope, it's turned over. Here comes Plummer. Plummer was going to pass it over to Friesen, but he keeps it. Makes a shot there, shuts it down. Another good back-and-forth sequence there. Kills yeah, about two minutes on the clock as these teams really leaving it all out there here in this third period. Yeah, saw a little action down in the attacking zone for the Stallions. Let's see what they can do. They work pretty good on face off and protecting the goaltender, but getting it down to the zone, trying to stretch out, it's just a little tough. A lot of times it's going to get turned over. Like here they have the puck, and now it's turned over. Carruthers with the shot, but it's wide. It's more, more or less a keeper. Going to be picked up. Low tries to fire, but off the shin pad, redirects it. Gives a chance for an early take. Easy takeaway. Carruthers, though, clears it off. Glass gives a pass over to Fortin, over to Jeffrey. Jeffrey splits D. Can he get it? Oh, he gets a backhand shot. But there, shot him down, but sails it out, so it's anyone's puck. No! Oh, Fortin was uh, set to receive. High stick. Be against the Stallions as they tomahawk that thing out of the air. Well, I'll get the face off inside of the Western Michigan zone. And it'll be near side as looks like no line changes for both teams. So it looks like Pot out of the draw. Puck's finally dropped. Now here we go. It's going to be picked up by the Stowns. They feed it around. Seward so couldn't get to it because it was a it was a quick dump from Hayward. Pada takes a shot, but brought, I think they just went off of something. Oh, sailed across and taking a shot. There comes way out and shuts down the effort of Fada. Yeah, definitely way out there to freeze that one, making sure that this team can regroup on this one as now they're really starting to feel the pressure. Yeah. The Warriors are coming for Justin Thayer out of Rochester Hills, Michigan. And uh, he's standing tough here. He's playing this period very well so far. 
playing nearly 14 minutes of it, shutting down any effort of the Warriors. Here come the Steins now. This Carruthers was holding the line. And it gets through. Low tries to take his guy. Good hands there uh, by Stokes for a moment. Krasny picks up from Carruthers, takes a shot across. It's broken up. Now here we go. Steins picking up speed as they turn the puck over. Picked up. Uh, didn't get rid of it soon enough. It was the effort of Hayward, I believe. He loses his stick on the on his effort. So low with it now. He uh, had Cotre there talking to right in front of the netminder. Low passes up to Chabot. Chabot coming in. He rounds the corner. He loses the puck on the boards. So back around it goes off of Parks. But Bennett turns it, picks it up on the turnover as it wasn't held by Drimmon. Now Chabot picks up. Chabot with it now. Chabot looking as Potter just gets to the action there off the change. Bennett with it. He passes to Barney. Barney one times! And he hits a player, I believe. And I believe he hit the player of Cotre. Barney picks up in the neutral, comes back in. Oh, he goes down, but he almost passed the puck over to, to Chabot. But now, now the puck is taken away. Arnold, oh, he still can't get it out. Arnold's working. Arnold took the puck away from Chaney. Chaney was all over him there for a moment. On the backhand, dump in. Potter goes on a... No, I thought he was going on a change. He stays out, but he's going back to his side. Stallings with it. Hit coming. Now taking off the play. Ali has the puck. Oh, he tries to give it up. Oh, the Dugan. Ali now with it. Dugan goes behind the net. Feeding it around. On the one-time shot. It's now put up in the corner. Still working. Tie it up. Trying to get going. And now here we go. Ali with it still. Dugan up there on the back door looking across and shut down as he fired into Thayer as he slid up into his spot. And shut down the play. Thought they might. Had a second to use Dugan on the back door. That was a good effort, though, as one of the defensemen able to keep his stick like right next to Ali and prevent him from really getting a good chance. He had to keep kind of his body wide and his hands more out to just protect the puck from the poke check. So he wasn't able to get much of a shot off. Faceoff's going to be picked up by Plummer. Plummer still got it's a stick tied up into a stallion player. Can't see. Now it's kept in. Campbell on the keeper. Up front. Friesen's coming in. Plummer picks up. Back over in the backhand. Nicky Fork tries to go through the legs there. Now Friesen will pick up. He's looking. He's got some time. He throws it back to Campbell. Campbell may go right, and he does. And it sails up as Gibson keeps it. But now it's going to be up front. Yes, it is now Nicky Fork. He passes to himself. Here he goes. Now he's coming in. He's got Friesen going up in the slot, but he shoots early, and it's in the easy glove stop. By Thayer, 4 0 1 remaining here in the third. It's all in the Stallion zone. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of offensive pressure here. And you don't see Thayer wearing down. He's still holding strong. Yeah, he's he just looks more alive as, as uh I mean his reaction is very well here. He's looking good. The stance is good off face. There's a lot of face offs in his zone. And here we go, low on the keep. Low working, hang on to it. Potter calling for it. Low gets tied up in the corner, trying to figure where to go. He's double teamed. In comes Fada to pick up. Fada gets tied off the play. Low's trying to get through. Fada gets through and feeds it up front. Almost as Fortin comes in and almost picked up one. It was set right in the paint. Puck goes wide. Joffrey keeps in. Potter comes in. Potter puts check on. He's hanging on to it. Throws it around. Picked up Fortin. Fortin throws it back into the same direction as the mess has been this whole shift. Now still Fortin trying to get a hold of it. Gets it in feet. Still looking. It's going to be picked up. Good battle by both. No one's given up. Now it's going to be kept in. Potter taking a look. He takes a snapshot. Loose in. It's covered by Thayer. Again, another sequence where it is just down inside of the Stallions and they just cannot clear the zone right now. Yeah, they're struggling to get a good offensive uh, march down the ice, but they're they're playing very good reactive hockey. I mean, they're they're preventing and as best they can, but not giving up. But when they do uh, make an error, then it's turned over for. The Warriors, so here they go up front, it's loose. Now picked up Stallion, Stallion just goes to try to clear it out, and it's actually, well, it goes out, it's offsides. Chabot is the last, he comes in and puts pressure on. Here come the Stallions now looking, far side pass in front of the bench, takes a crazy bounce. It's going to be an easy pickup for Carruthers. Carruthers feeds it up on the boards, and he almost nails a 
Prasny with it. Now it's Stoner going on the reach, and he's trying to battle Carruthers, but it's turned over, kept in off the hands of Cheney. Up front and cannot reach, so Bennett's going to chase this one out and see if he can get it. And he's coming up the ice, putting the pressure on. Bennett's, oh, he goes behind. Oh, and he almost takes it. Nice move, and he's still putting pressure on. Gives a chance for Chabot to come up. They feed it on boards. And Barney wishes he could have came up and got that one. Carruthers now. Carruthers goes backhand off the glass. Pick up by Bennett. See what he can, if he can finish what he starts. He feeds over to Chabot. He's trying to get up in the slot, so Chabot's still carrying on the double. Oh, it goes across. No doing. Chabot will pick up the shot that he attempted, or at least the feed. Bennett spins around, tries to get it going. Chabot going back into the corner. He battles up against Parks. And Chabot there. Parks gets uh, puts body on. Now it's in front. Oh, and it's out of the reach. And it's going to be picked up Steins. And they go and clear it on their own bench. We're under the two-minute warning mark here in the third period. His face-off once again will be in the Steins defensive zone. That's kind of where it's been. A good majority of the second half of this period is down inside of their end. As you mentioned, at 155 left here in the third, nothing has really happened outside of what, maybe two penalties this period? Yeah, yeah, and it's been, uh, the stats is just gonna be pretty much there. He has, uh, he played a solid third period so far, seeing uh, just over 18 minutes of it. So the puck's up, Gibson will pick up the puck, and now it's over to Campbell. Campbell taking a look. Oh, and it was uh, Dugan almost redirected, grabbing it out of the air. So now here we are, Gibson feeding it over to Dugan. Dugan gives it up to Ali, Ali over to Arnold. Arnold with it now, Arnold's got splitting through. Picked up Ali, Ali gets tipped by Parks. It's up front and picks up the puck and shoots and scores is Arnold. So right at the minute 27, as we're loving on Thayer's great at the third period action, he gets scored on by Arnold. As there's just so much you can do when the puck is constantly in your zone, one mistake can yeah, and this started, this started earlier on, and I wasn't able to catch it, but a turnover in the neutral zone led to that as they were they turned as Western Michigan turned it over right around the red line, and then they broke it in inside the um, zone for them, for the Warriors. Coach Ray versus Plummer on the faceoff, and it is going to be thrown back into the zone. Barney will pick up as the pressure coming on from Stokes. Nick and Fork with it. He throws it and ends up being turned over and taken off the play and goes off sides as the puck was turned over by Cotre. All right, so we're going to try this again. Face off just outside of the Warriors defensive zone. A minute nine left on the third period. Plummer trying to skate through. Picked up Barney. He feeds over to Potter. Potter's trying to get a hold of it. Potter gets it, feeds it in, but almost picked up by Friesen, but he mostly was dumping it in. And now here they come now, trying to finish what they started earlier. Cotre with it. Now picked up. Potter on the reach. Plummer there trying to get a hold of it. Now it's going to be picked up by Cotre again. He takes some time, takes a shot. Almost rolled over Funk. Now here's the effort of the Stallions. Well, they didn't use the uh, defense. They throw it around. Easy pickup for Barney. One change coming in late. And here they go. Plummer with it now. Plummer looking. He drops back to Barney. Barney with the shot. Say up front. Now it's cleared out by Stoners. He gets a little bump. Now the puck's going to be picked up by Jeffrey. He gives it over to Barney. Barney with it. Feeds it over to Potter. Potter now is going to be up forward. Here he goes. He's going to be up front. He feeds it up. Oh, and it's cleared out. Cleared up by Peters, but turned over and up front and a shot to save held on. We're at the eight seven point eight seconds left. So Thayer shuts down the effort there. Almost ceremonial puck drop coming up. Yeah, pretty much at this rate. What a game so far played by the Warriors. Spot on the faceoff, puck drops, going to be picked up by the Stallions, cannot get it out. Still working to get it out, and it is going to be, that should do it as Plummer drops it back around, and that will do it. So the I-69 Cup will be awarded to the Indiana Tech Warriors as they went up to Michigan last night and put on a shutout victory, 6-0, and today they put up a 5-1 game so it was still six goals, but they didn't get the shutout win here as the Steins played tough in the first period to keep it one to two, I believe. 
And uh, that was it. So the handshake, ceremonial handshake here. This is what we. This is what hockey's all about. Seeing the sportsmanship, and I've said this before. A lot of these guys somewhere in life will see their opponent on their team somewhere, and no grudges. Just you know, you face a good team and you thank them. Either way, Tex had the share of losses and share of wins, and uh, this is the best part when you you get to see everyone uh, saying, "Hey, great, great battle tonight." We'll see you again somewhere. Also want to thank all the parents. You're the reason they're here. Always a shout out to all the effort the parents have put into this family and the sacrifice. And uh, trust me, your kids love you for it. And they love this part of it the most. So. There you are, Indiana Tech picks up the I-69 Cup. It's been a while. So here it is. I will take a break. The Warriors win 5-1 over Western Michigan. We'll be right back with your post game here on SummitCitySports.com, the Warriors Broadcast Network. Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. What's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. 
Welcome back to the Parkview Sport One Ice House. We have our final as the Indiana Tech Warriors win the I-69 Cup with a final of 5-1 to over Western Michigan. Shots on goal that period. Three for Western Michigan, bringing them to a three-period total of 11. The Warriors almost six times the amount of shots on goal that Western Michigan had. They had 22 in the period for a three-period total of 60 with 90 shot attempts by the Warriors. 13 block shots for Western Michigan to the Warriors, three. Penalty minutes, 14-10 for Western Michigan. Both teams with one power play goal. Western Michigan, one for four. The Warriors, one for six. Faceoffs, 38-37. So obviously the big, big thing is the shot total. And for 60 shots on goal, 90 attempts, it's a very good game for Justin Thayer, yes. who only let in five. Yeah, he should. He he can hold his head up high. He he played well, and in that fifth goal there, I mean, he was working, and it just you can't you can't be everywhere, and and uh, it just got him as he committed to the left and puck ended up right, easy put in. But yeah, he he played an incredible game, and defense like with the block shots, they played well. This what kind of got him was not controlling the puck out of the zone, trying to stretch out passes or clearing it. And a lot of times when they mat had a matchup, they would turn the puck over. If they, they controlled the puck, there was somehow on a collision, we would always be the favor of the, the turnover and or the control of the puck at least. And so that was what kept it in the zone for most of the game because they did turn it over, take the puck away, but they could never get it out and make a chance for their forwards to come down and be effective on the scoring side of the sheet for tonight's effort. Take a look at the three stars of the game. Third star will be Alex Arnold, registering two points, a goal and an assist. Second star, Cole Barney with three assists. First star, Alex Potter, two goals, including the game-winning goal. Yeah, that's that's where you, you want to be. I often thought if it was a blowout game, I'm going to score against my own team so I can claim the game winner. <laughs> Just figure out where to stop scoring. Yeah, that was a, a pretty good effort. Good defensive effort putting some points up for the uh, the Warriors tonight as they play in that quarterback position and see where they can take advantage of, of uh, anything setting up against the, the goaltender there. Let's take a look at briefly at the upcoming schedule. Next weekend, the men share a home-and-home -home series with the University of Michigan Dearborn as well as the women's. You know, They're going to play a common opponent, uh, just reverse. The men are at the University of Michigan Dearborn on Friday the 14th and return home on the 15th while the women are reversed. They'll be home the 14th and face Michigan up in Michigan uh, the 15th. And then it's a home and home series against Concordia on the 21st and 22nd with the 22nd being a home game. And it's just pretty much that way it goes as we round closer to the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference just Four more home games before the conference tournament. Yeah, this is where it all comes down to, you know, who wants it more. And you you got to, you know, this is like a, a, you know, each game is a game, but it's also a practice for the next one and get yourself prepared. We're in the second half of the 2021-2022 season, and the first part is done. And after the break, this is a new season, if you will. So, um, it's good to see the Warriors come out strong after the break. Sometimes you worry. I've seen it in the past where they struggled, and they have really been conditioned to come back strong. And we're, we're just uh, proud to see them out here play. I'm glad to do play-by-play -play with you again. I always enjoy it, so I'm tickled to have you here tonight. So especially when you get a comment on the goaltending and you got to see a pretty good game with Thayer tonight. I and mean, we can't say anything short of Funk, but, you know, he watched, you know, like we were. We could have gave him a microphone for most of that game, especially in the third. Yeah, so. basically. So they had Western Michigan six shots in the first and then five between the second and third combined. Wow. Yeah, they'll get themselves figured out. And they, they, they've got a good netminder there. That's a good goaltender. They've got a good defensive effort. Um, they'll just keep reeling it in, you know, first, you know, first games of the beginning of the season. So, or uh, the second half of the season. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is something they can work on. I like what I saw with them. 
and I think they have something to build on. Their record showing six thirteen and one, and I think that uh, I think that could change. I think that those numbers will turn around well before tonight. So seven seven uh, fourteen. So yeah, it'll be six and fifteen, I believe. Um, so yeah, I think that should turn around for them, and I hope it will because they look good in a lot of areas. I just think they fine tune the others, and they got something going for them. Well, that'll do it for us here at the Parkview Sport One Ice House with Indiana Tech Men's D1 Hockey. The Warriors with the 5-1 win over Western Michigan. We thank everybody for tuning in, and we hope to see you again next week on the 15th when the Men's D1 takes on the University of Michigan Dearborn here at the Ice House. As always, be safe. Love one another and give a call to someone you think that could be impaired driving. Give them a call. Tell them you love them. Find uh, a way to get home. Be safe because we want to see you back here. We want you to tune in, and we care about all of you out there. No matter what team you root for, we care about you here in Fort Wayne as part of the Indiana Tech Warrior family. For all of us here, Brandon Porter, myself, Bryce Ryder, we thank you so much for tuning in, and that's our show for the night.